What's up guys, Zelda Ninja Warrior, a bear to Sinister Superman hat, bringing you another episode of Combat for Dummies, where this time we take on the fan favorite, Kamehameha. Now don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, I don't expect you guys to be shooting the blasts of energy out of your hands anytime soon, but I'm going to take that move from um, Goku, that Goku performs at Kamehameha, and I'm going to imply it in real life and what it would be like in real life, so let's see if, let's see if I can do that. <laughs> Alright, so um, to start off, first thing I'm going to change is less of an open hand type thing and more of a closed hand it's gonna have two fists because honestly you're it's gonna be more effective that way i guess you could do it with open hands but i'm gonna do it with closed hands because it's gonna be more effective now what you're gonna your targets are gonna be this part of your your face right here it's called your ing chum it is the space where your mustache shits if you hit there you can not only break jaws but you can also break the nose you can break the teeth you can break a lot of different things, cause them to start crying because you hit the nose. Lots of great things happen for you if you hit someone else there. So that's gonna be target number one. Target number two is gonna be the solo plex. It's this gap right in your chest where if you hit, and that's where the base of your diaphragm is. So if you hit there, they're gonna lose breath. And so this move will be able to not only blind your target, break their nose, break their teeth, break their jaw it also get them out of breath so they can't keep fighting you so here's what it's going to look like starting out bang just like that so basically what this means is you're going to take both hands back on this back hip if your target's over here both hands on this back hip and you're going to fire them forward hip first bang into your targets bang just like that Hitting that diaphragm with that bottom hand and hitting the so the ing chung with your top hand. Now, the key to this is targeting and practice. If you don't practice this at home, I'm telling you right now, if you don't practice this, you're not going to get it instantly. You, it takes time to be able to um, hit your targets effectively every time. I've been doing this for a long time and I still miss sometimes. So I strongly suggest you practice targeting at home.